It's November 26th, and it's about 10, 15 at night. Everyone attended the, the Thanksgiving party. I'm supposed to attend one, but ended up staying here at my mom's place. Um, I decided to do some videos and watch the Food Channel. The challenges and you know the challenge, the Iron Chef competition and some other challenges. It just I fasted yesterday, um, November twenty-fifth and Monday, November twenty-third. So after I've eaten today, um, some um, some bananas, about six bananas, three at work and three after waking up, breaking my fast with lemon juice, water, and salt. Um, and then ate some other fruit, Fuji apple, a pear. Um, and then a salad with some pesto, basil pesto dressing from my garden. Mm, the basil is from my garden. So, it's... It's really fascinating how I feel after a fast. What I realized is, uh, before I was looking at uh, the desire for food, and uh, I, as it comes up, as I eat some cooked food, you see, in the beginning, but, uh, and then, as I go on in my experiment, it seems like it's, um, self-direction that actually stops you from eating too much. Question is, Where's, where is the self and what is the self and how can we be so sure that that is the self, the real self, you know, not the mind kicking in. So basically the mind I um, realized is, is, is the one um, that is desiring, you see, and it's the one that gets satisfied as I eat. Food can be raw, cooked, or vegetarian or non-vegetarian. So that in the end, self-direction has to be there for me to be able to stop eating. But um, it's different from when I say, when I'm eating and I say, okay, there's this desire, I'm going to eat that food, see the food as an expression of life, of the life force, one in equal us, the self that it, that is the life force within me. Um, that is still separation, I realized, because I have no real concept of self yet. I'm still the mind, shutting down the mind through self-forgiveness. And I have no real real tangible experience of self. 
it was when I um, had a glimpse of that real self that uh, when I was leaning in to a tree and the tree seems to be revealing itself to me and, and made my whole perspective of who I am as the self change. And that was when, but in the beginning, of course, I doubted that. And, and so I, um, the, fir the first reaction was to say, is that real? What is that? Like, is that real? And there's doubt there. So really, in the beginning, I was doing self-forgiveness for the mind, experimenting on it because um, I just want to know if there is something more than what I experienced before in my meditation. I can feel me, but not see me, but can just feel um, the life force in the flowers blooming and stuff like that. And um, just the life coming out from the seed as it grows from a seed to a plant. and. Uh, in, in the height of my meditation before, like, about maybe two, 2004, 2004, um, year 2004, I thought that was like um, a glimpse of enlightenment, you see. And I even blogged about that. Uh, you can look at um, but and then I experienced doing self-forgiveness and then